M0FXB, let's configure our ICOM IC7300 to wirelessly connect to WF view and SDR control. M0FXB, WF view connected to my ICOM7300. So there's no Wi Fi connector or Ethernet connector on this device. So currently we're connected via USB and I'm going to show you the, the connection and then I'm going to show you how to activate the server so you can go on your laptop or your other device and control your ICOM 7300 away from your radio using Wi-Fi. So right now we're going to just disconnect from the radio just down here it says disconnect just here so that we can then go into the settings of course, I'll put all the links in to download WFU, and thank you very much. This is open source free software. So at the bottom here, you've got settings, okay? Now, you do need to plug a USB cable into the back of the, the printer-style port. So initially, via USB, click down here where it says settings, or look in your taskbar at the bottom, and you'll see the settings window open up here. And then go to radio access and remember we're just doing serial to usb so there it is there really straightforward you just click that select the com port of the radio that you're using and it normally finds it okay it found mine straight away and gave me the com number four otherwise just right click on your device manager like so and you'll find it just in your ports on the left look com4 silicon labs uh, it definitely makes sense to download all your USB drivers for ICOM. Once you've done that, you literally just connect and it will just work straight away. And you can see there, mine has worked. Again, we're connected and we can control the radio. Hopefully you can see that I'm, let me just bring it up a bit. Controlling the radio just there. As I turn, I'm turning the actual VFO here. You've got RF gain, volume next to it. It's just you know, everything you can think of, but that's not what this is about. So how do we then tell it to start sending out Wi-Fi so someone else can connect to it? Now, I found the easiest way to do this, because we need to be able to find the IP address, that's the key thing here for Wi-Fi, is to, if we just go to, let's have a look here, we'll disconnect briefly, then we'll go to settings again, so bring that window back up. Then on the left here, we're going to go down to server. So you've got one, two, third one down. OK. And then here, what you want to do is um, add yourself a username and password. Now I've just put in M0FXB like so. R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. And then... That's our password, like so, and then we can select our audio. I'm just going to click the microphone in this laptop and the speaker, just here. Enable the server and then connect to radio. Now to get your server address, I found the best place to look is to go down here where it says log, open up the log and then just scroll back and you'll see that when the server starts it actually gives out an IP address. So if we just quickly clear that, if we go here, clear, then I'll stop and start the server. Go so back to settings, like so, server and then I'll stop it after we have to disconnect and I'll unenable un it. If we go back to the log, UDP server closing UDP server. Okay, that's what it says. So now let's start it again, back to settings. And then we're going to go enable, go back to the log. And here is where I saw the IP address. So there it is there. It's given me 192.168.0.119 just here. I found that the easiest way because that's so crucial that you get that. So, okay. So then what we'll do is we'll just reconnect to the radio. And we'll, don't forget, we're still connected via USB. And then what we're going to do is move over to 
a computer that is completely not connected to the 7300 so wirelessly okay we're all connected so i will be testing it i want to set up the mic and all that but i just want you to show you that you can wirelessly connect to your 7300 quite simple settings and big thanks to wfu and if we just scroll here we can do that and you can even if i grab it let's see if it works if you plug in uh, your little rc28 and look back in settings let's quickly find it external and look enable usb so you click setup and then this appears which is very cool and it connects and you know maybe i have to connect it a couple of times but hopefully it's connected and now look it's actually doing it look i'm not only just changing the you know so i can have this sat with my laptop anywhere in the house at the moment because it's done with a local ip and i can use radio the speaker and the microphone comes from my laptop and i can play radio i can leave this downstairs i can literally go up to bed take my laptop with me up to bed and i can play radio and i've even got a vfo you can see there and if i just close the let's show you what you're going to see if you're in your room so let's get rid of the the radio a minute like so and the cool microphone which i like and the settings page and you can see here that i can and that's even moved me a bit smaller like so and i'm tuning we've got rf gain here we've got volume squelch we can power it on and off and that's quite important that you uh have that isn't it if you're away from the house you've got rit there at the bottom lots of settings at the bottom you've got bands you can click bands select a band you know clicking different bands there uh and you can type in the frequency just here just type it in so one four dot two zero zero enter and that, and 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 tuner enable tuner transmit one two one two of course you need to select the right microphones and things for that otherwise you're gonna have a problem hopefully we've uh not broken anything so anyway thank you very much that's how you you know connect wirelessly and uh to this device seven three all the best so back at my other computer, there's no cables connected to this computer. We're going to open up the WF view page and look inside settings, which is just here. And now we're going to try and connect not using a USB cable. So if we look just here, we need to get the right password in. Remember it was Raspberry, R-A-S, oops, R-A-S-P, B E R R Y, same user. We've got the IP address. I haven't had to set anything else. So let's hit connect. And we need to get the right one, <laughs> otherwise, it won't connect. So on your iPhone or iPad, I mean, we're connected now, as you can see, and everything's working great. So I just disconnect. It's going to show you the, uh, the settings that we used. So in this window, I'm just going to tap here. I'm going to select edit so you can see. So the name doesn't matter. Obviously, you want to put in a good name so you can find it. The IP address, we found that, as you saw earlier in the in the log. Uh, the port I left at 5001. And the username and password is the same as before. Same as what you would use on WFU. But obviously, this is SDR control. And then we connect. And that's it. And don't forget, there's a lot we can do with this. We can instantly connect to FT8. CW, is that decode? It says CW. SSTV is the new feature. D star. Okay, yeah, I suppose, of course, Icon 705. So, sorry, that's a bit blurry. So, yeah, I'm going to do more videos actually using it. And let's just see if it will connect to my uh, my iPad a minute. There you go. How cool is that? And just cool to prove. That? Oh, it can actually. I need, okay. to the mic. I need to configure the mic. But look, no wires at all. No wires at all. Look at that. No wires. No wires. SDR control. SDR control. Bye for now. Bye for now.